Welcome to my latest case, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. To start playing, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Tutorial. Dear Ned, remember Sally McDonald, the woman who took those photos that Dad has up in his office? Well, she just bought a house in Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. A gangster named Mickey Malone built it back in the 20s as his country getaway. We're talking major fixer-upper. Anyway, last night Sally called and she said she desperately needed my detective skills. She refused to say why over the phone. Naturally, I said I'd drive to Moon Lake immediately. But weird things started happening the moment I pulled up. First, this big tree fell down behind my car and has me totally blocked in. And then I discovered that Sally's gone. She left a note that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So here I sit, writing to you while I wait for the phone to ring. It's nighttime, and although part of me is dying to know what frightened Sally away, another part of me is starting to feel a little uneasy. I'll let you know what happens. Ever yours, Nancy. Hello? Nancy, hi, it's Sally. We have to talk fast because I'm in my car and my cell phone's running low, so we might get cut off. But did you see my note? Yes, are you all right? No, I feel awful bailing on you like that. You must think I'm such a flake. I'm just worried about you. What's wrong? I couldn't stand the thought of spending another night there. I knew you were on your way, but it didn't help. I just got too scared. What's to be scared of? It's so peaceful and quiet here. Just wait until it gets dark. Then you'll see. What am I saying? Nancy, you shouldn't be there by yourself either. Why don't you just go get in your car and go home? Or drive to Philadelphia. My aunt's got plenty of room. One of your trees seems to have other plans for me. What do you mean? A tree fell down behind my car just as I was driving up to the house. I'm blocked in. Oh, the dead maple beside the driveway. Oh, they told me it was in danger of falling over when I had the place inspected. I just never got around to doing anything about it. Listen, call M's Emporium. That's a store on the lake. Emily knows everybody. She'll know who to call if she decides to answer her phone. It's late. Won't the store be closed? Where's my brain? Okay, look. I just bought a little outboard motorboat. I haven't used it yet, but the guy who put it in for me said it should run just fine. It's tied up at the dock out front. Just get in it and go. Go anywhere. Just get away from the house. I can't just take off in your boat. It's pitch black outside. Then listen to me. Go around the house and lock all the doors and windows. Do that right now. There aren't any locks on the doors and windows. What are you so afraid of? The dogs! Who's <coughs> dog? Out of nowhere. They're outside howling and snarling. Teeth and claws. Horrible. Dogs? Hello? Did you say dogs? Hello? What is that? Things out there. Now look what you've done. That was a Strix Varia. At least I think it was. Never know for sure now, will I? Who are you? My name's Red Knot. And if you've got a volume knob, I'd appreciate your taking it down a notch before you scare away everything from here to Lancaster. I'm Nancy Drew. What were all those noises out here just now? That was me, Miss Nancy Drew, calling in birds. And doing a pretty good job of it, too, till you showed up. Where'd you come from, anyway? I'm staying here in the old Malone place. Now, why would you want to do a thing like that? The Malone house is no place for one young woman, let alone two. You've met Sally? I talked to her a couple of times. But you know, the last time I saw her, she wasn't doing so good. She acted real anxious, scared. Did she say what was wrong? The dogs. The dogs of Mickey Malone. Legend goes that when Malone was finally arrested and hauled away, 
His four dogs went running off into the woods and were never seen again. People would just hear them, howling like their hearts were broken every night until one by one, they all died and went silent. But every time someone tries living in the Malone house, back they come. Are you saying Sally's house is haunted by ghost dogs? Every night, ever since she moved in, you could hear them howling. And some nights, the dogs would appear outside the house, running around, snarling and barking and throwing themselves at the doors and windows. And then, they'd be gone. They're buried in the cemetery just beyond the house, you know. Them and Malone both. The dogs would attack her house? It's like they don't want anybody but Malone living there. I guess they don't know he's dead. And so are they. Did they ever attack Sally? She never gave them the chance. After the first attack, she stopped going out at night. Just locked the doors when it got dark and sat tight until morning. Why haven't the police investigated? This isn't New York City, Miss Nancy Drew. All they got around here is one officious little park ranger. And all Jeff Akers does is sit around all day trying to figure out how he can get himself transferred out of here to a bigger park. Do you live close by? I just come to Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation platform just up the path, kind of my base camp, and I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Don't really need it. Are those the ghost dogs? Yes, ma'am. Which is why I think it would be a good idea if I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house. Good luck, Miss Nancy Drew. This is not good. Leaves that appear on a fresh spring tree make my birth different from the other three. When swans drift by on shimmering blue, I'm the one who plays in the summer dew. When autumn's call brings out the deer, it is I who howls on mornings clear. And when winter comes and birds take flight, look to me to sleep through the long gray night. some sandpaper. This doesn't look very safe. Looks like paw prints.
The boat's full of water. I need to bail out the boat. The spark plug is missing. The spark plug is missing. A face only a gnome could love. Oh, the key broke off. There's got to be another way to get this open. I gotta have some torque. This must be Red's observation platform. Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Yes, I did, and I can understand why you left. They were pretty frightening. But if it's okay with you, I'd really like to stay and get to the bottom of whatever's going on. That's why you asked me here in the first place, right? Yes, but Nancy, are you sure? Positive. Consider Detective Drew officially on the case. I wish I were even half the trooper you are, Nancy. Oh, I have such high hopes for that house. All the beauty there, the wildlife, all the pictures I was going to take. It would break my heart to have to give it up. I need you to tell me everything you can about those dogs. They're black and they have yellow glowing eyes and they don't like me one bit. When's the first time you saw them? Well, let's see. I heard them the very first night I was here. I heard them almost every night, howling in the distance. But I didn't actually see them until I'd been here about a week. After that, they started appearing pretty much every other night. When they appeared, did they always do the same thing? Yes, come to think of it. They always came running up to the house, barking and snarling. They'd lunge at the windows, they'd jump up on the door, they'd run around and bark some more, then they'd run off. What are you getting at? These attacks seem to involve a lot of choreography, which reinforces my theory that you're not being randomly attacked by a pack of wild dogs, but by dogs who've been trained by someone determined to scare you out of your house at Moon Lake. Who would want to do that? My closest neighbor lives two miles away. My property is surrounded by the state park, but it's off-season, so hardly anybody is in the park. In fact, I bet I talked to a total of three people the whole four weeks I was at Moon Lake. Which three people? Let's see. The park ranger. I forget his name. Kind of a pain in the neck. Emily Griffin. She's the one who owns that store I told you about. And I ran into this bird watcher a couple of times. Had a funny name. Red Knot. I run into him, too. Other than people I may have nodded hello to while getting gas or something, I swear those are the only people I've talked to at Moon Lake. What about River Heights? Can you think of anyone there who'd want you to sell your house at Moon Lake and move back to River Heights? <laughs> you mean like an angry ex-boyfriend or something? Nope. I sure can't. Since I'm going to be staying here a while, is there anything I should know about the place? Well, let's see. I've got the water turned off because it's well water and it needs to be tested before I can use it for anything. In fact, if you could get that testing done for me, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, and watch where you walk in the living room. Some of the floorboards are so rotten you could fall right through. And I keep hearing these faint squeaks and rustling type noises coming from below the floor. I hope you're not scared of mice. Your outboard motorboat is missing a spark plug. Is there one around here by any chance? I wouldn't know a spark plug if I swallowed one whole. But you need that boat, Nancy. Right now, it's your lifeline. You can't use your car, and believe me, you can't walk anywhere because all the paths around the house end in this thick, horrible brush. You've got to get it fixed. <laughs> 
Wait a minute. The bird watcher. He's got a boat. Maybe you could borrow his spark plug or something. Go down the path that's to the right as you look out toward the lake from the house, and you'll eventually see his observation platform. Try him at night. He never seems to be around during the day. I could really use some sandpaper. Do you have any stashed away somewhere? Sure don't. Try M's Emporium. That's on the west side of the lake. And brace yourself if you haven't been there yet. The place is something else. How well do you know the owner? I feel like I've known her all my life. She's so open and friendly. She likes to make it sound as if Moon Lake used to be a major hangout for criminals and degenerates, which isn't really true and irks some people around here no end. But I figure she's just trying to make a buck. How do I go about getting your water tested? Try the ranger station on the east side of the lake. I've been told you can get some kind of kit there. I'm curious. Why did you characterize the park ranger as a pain in the neck? I left part of a ham sandwich on a picnic table once. Big mistake. From the way he carried on, you'd think I just made the FBI's ten most wanted list. I don't think he likes me. Emily says it's because I wrecked his dream of becoming super ranger or something when I bought the Malone house instead of the parks department. Me, I think he just basically has a problem relating to people unless they're asking questions or breaking the law. Where'd all that stuff in your tool shed come from? It's just junk left behind by previous owners. Came with the house. I've been meaning to take inventory and start pitching stuff, but I didn't. If they ever make procrastination a crime, I'm done for. The wall hanging in the living room with a poem on it, and those dog carvings in that cabinet above the sofa. What can you tell me about them? Aren't they cool? They came with the place. Sold the clock. Apparently, Malone had them custom made when he built the house. In fact, they're all built into the house. They're still there because you can't move them. Has the clock ever worked? Not for me. Oh, but get this. One day, I was messing with the hands. You know, trying to get them to work. And all of a sudden, one of the four little doors flew open, and instead of a cuckoo, this dog popped out and barked three times. It's a doggy clock. That Malone, bad as he was, he sure loved those dogs. Talk to you later. Stay in touch. The moon's so bright, I won't need my flashlight. Well, it's Miss Nancy Drew. Does that mean you'd like me to call you Mr. Red Knot? All right, then. Hello, Nancy. Now put a muffler on it, would ya? I just heard a cerulean warbler. Really? Are they rare? Something tells me they're gonna be with you around. You didn't come up here to chit-chat, did you? Do you know much about outboard motors? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on Moon Lake. Heck, if it were up to me, I'd ban them too. Have everybody get around by canoe. Nothing like the threat of physical activity to keep tourists away. You're not exactly a people person, are you? I came to see birds, not people. The more people there are in a forest, the fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. Reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel for miles. There's no place nearby that sells boat parts? Sally's outboard is missing a spark plug. I might be able to help you out. After all, I was a Boy Scout. Be prepared. <laughs> but I don't want to leave you unprepared. Well, just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my pocket. Question is, if I give you one, what do I get for it? I don't need cash, but maybe you could take a few pictures for me. Know how to use a digital camera? Sure. What would you like me to take pictures of? Birds, of course. There's a couple of birds I'm supposed to take pictures of for Pepsob. That's People for the Preservation and Study of Birds. You can recognize them by their songs, which are on this tape which you can play on my cassette player, which you're gonna have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. <laughs> Think you can handle that? I know I can. Here's everything you'll need. M's Emporium is up lake on the west side. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? One more thing. You smoke? 
Uh, only when I'm on fire. Oh, you're a spunky one, aren't you? Well, these woods may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the East Coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do. Because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore. I'll be looking for you. Watch yourself out there. There. Welcome to M's Emporium. I'm Emily Griffin. I'm Nancy Drew. Sally McDonald said you might be able to help me. I like helping people. Of course, I like selling them stuff even better. But keep talking. Well, Sally invited me to come out and stay with her for a while. But right now, I need a chainsaw. A chainsaw? A tree fell down in the driveway behind my car, and now I'm blocked in. I'll get Tucker Davis to take care of it. Kinda warn you though, Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. So how come Sally ain't with you? She thinks the Malone place is haunted, and after last night, I can see why. I told her, I said, Sally, that old house is gonna be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back, just when we all thought they were finally resting in peace. Have you ever seen the dogs? Nope. Don't want to, neither. Just hearing them howl's bad enough. Scares the bejeebies out of me. When was the last time they appeared? Seems like they show up every time somebody buys the place. So the last time would have been uh, 10, 15 years ago. I caught a strange man prowling around last night. He called himself Red Knot. The bird watcher. Comes in every so often to stock up on that weirdo food he eats. You know how them tree hugger types are. It seemed to me that he was more into watching birds than hugging trees. Yeah, well, whatever. One thing's for sure, he's gonna wind up with a dose of buckshot in his hind end if he keeps tramping through people's yards making noises like he just popped out of a UFO. Mr. Knott did me a favor, and in return he asked me to pick up a cassette player from you. Oh yeah, I got it right here. Thought maybe the old coot had forgotten he left it here. What else can I do you for? I need to get the water from Sally's well tested. How would I go about doing that, do you know? Just get a water testing kit from the ranger station and follow the directions. Where's the ranger station? Just up lake from Sally's on the east side. Why would there be a problem with the water? Cause it's well water. And seeing as Malone dug that well 80 years ago, what gets pumped out of it could be pretty funky. Where do you find your... Achoo! Bless you. It's all the dust. Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. You seem to be selling everything under the sun in here. Best part is, I got most of this stuff for free. See, back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be party central. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. And when those boats dumped, on account of bad weather or bad driving or the feds suddenly showing up, while everything from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. So it's finders keepers, huh? That's right. See, recovering objects from the lake bed is illegal. According to Squeaky Wheel Acres, dragging the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco-balance. So thanks mostly to his constant squawking, the state banned it. Squeaky Wheel Acres? Jeff Acres, local park ranger. I keep telling him all this stuff washed up on shore. 
But does that snobby little stickler for rules believe me? Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Acres. Jeff Acres could take all his precious rules and regulations and take a flying leap. Now, I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you. But I kind of like Moon Lake the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. But Jeff Acres, why, there's nothing he'd like better than to see all the lake and all the property around it turn into one big, noisy, jam-packed state park. Why would he want that? He's the type of guy who likes to boss people around, makes them feel important. So if the park got way bigger and was crawling with tourists, why, instead of giving out maybe one ticket for littering every two days, he'd be giving out one dozen tickets every two hours. He'd be in heaven. Well, hey, I'm sure you got better things to do than getting your ear chewed off by yours truly. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. Right now, cash is kind of a problem for me. Do you think we could do some kind of trade-out? You scratch my back, I scratch yours, huh? Seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's, and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. Think I could get some from him? He's your only hope. But you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Guess I'll see you later. Yodla hee hoo! Thank you. 